Welcome to Revelation of Alpha and Omega Ministry. My name is Theophilus McPherson and I'm on a series called Minority on Top Minority uh, uh, Rules Majority. And I'm dealing with the subject of Remember Lot's Wife. Remember Lot's Wife. And the reason why Jesus Christ has stated remember Lot's wife because Lot's wife show a historical point of two cities that was destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah and some people might ask the question it was not just homosexuality that was in this this cities it was not lesbianism in this city but you might be telling the truth but we don't know, but the Bible say that when the angel came to Lot's house, the men of the city tried to break, door, the, break down the door and ask Lot so we can know them, so we can have sex with the men. So realize, my friend, when the Bible, when Jesus Christ say in Luke 17, 32, and I will get to that, that how the Bible say, Remember Lot's wife. I'm of the I'm of the opinion that man, the minority always rule the majority, because Abraham stood before God and said, "God, why are you going to destroy the righteous with the wicked?" But Jesus Christ, God told Abraham, "If you find fifty people, I will not destroy it." And it goes down that only was four, but one turned around and she became a pillar of salt. And I will have pictures up there of what she looks like. She became a memorial for people, amen, glory to God, of knowing that she existed, amen, because of her disobedience, she became a pillar of salt. The Bible say, remember Lot's wife. It's amazing that people, they want to go back into the world. They want to go back into where they came from. If God have called you to the marvelous light, why are you thinking about going back into darkness? If God have called you from being a free, why you want to go back to be a slave? If God have called you to for life, why you want to go back? Hey, glory to God, amen, to, to, to death. Because the opposite of those things are death. From light to darkness, from slavery to freedom, from death to life. And if you're looking back and wife and Lot's wife look back, and we don't even know her name because her name is not important right now. The only thing important is that you have a memorial of remembering Lot's wife. God don't want you to look back. He don't want you to look back. That's why on a on a car we see the the viewing mirror. They are small. Paul say, "Forget those things which are behind, and person forth for those things which are, which are before." I press toward the mark of the high calling of God, which is Christ Jesus, our Lord. Why are you looking back? Are you looking back because you think you have fun? Hey, glory to God. Amen. Come on now. There ain't no fun in sin. Amen. It's just for a season. Hey, glory to God. That's why Moses said that he rather suffer with the, with the people of God than to enjoy sin for a season. Your sex is just for a season. It's just to make you feel good just for a season and then it's over and then you feel dirty and you feel bad because it didn't it didn't it didn't uh, 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 feel like the way you thought it was felt. Amen. The sex, hey, glory to God. The sex is not the sex if you're not married. Hey, glory to God. Because you enjoy sex when you're married. Amen. Singleness is not enjoying sex. Amen. So in Sodom and Gomorrah, how Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. 
Hey, glory to God. And we live in a time right now. And I will read the scripture for you that Jesus Christ said, we live in that time right now. Amen. Where men love become wax cold. Hey, glory to God. Where there's a whole lot of perversion. Hey, glory to God. Where there's a whole lot of sodomites. Amen. Things are happening that 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 happened in the day of Noah. Hey, glory to God. But I rebuke that spirit of looking back. We should not look back into 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 darkness, but we should keep on looking to the hill which cometh our help. And our help come from the Lord. It don't come from, amen, you enjoying life. Hey, glory to God. It don't come from the Budweiser, Johnny Walker clubbing. Hey, glory to God. Dancing. Hey, glory to God. The only dance we should be doing is dancing in the Holy Ghost. Hey, glory to God. So I'm telling you that, my friend, that she looked back and she became a pillar of salt, she become a memorial for us to remember to don't look back. Amen. Because if you look back, you're going to look back into perdition. And I will tell you in, in Hebrew, the 10th chapter, verse 38 and 39. Hey, glory to God. We should not look back because if you look back, you're going get, to get dizzy. If you keep on looking back, you're going to cause an accident. The rear view mirror is big in front of you. That means that it just a, take a second for you to look back. If you want to change the lane, you look to the, you look to the right to change the lane and you look of, uh, ahead of you. You try to change the lane to the left, you look to the left and then you change the lane. So the re the mirror, the, the, the windshield in front of you is bigger than the view mirror. And I will show you illustration what it look like. So here I go. Amen. In, in Genesis, hey, glory to God, uh, uh, 19, verse 25. And listen, verse 24. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those city and all the plain and all inhabitant of the city that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back and be, from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. And we see that, my friend, don't never look back. Look to the hill which cometh your help. Your help was not behind because if it was behind, God wouldn't tell you to tell those angels to get you out. He wants you to get out and don't look back because if you look back, you won't get stuck back there and you can't go forward. So I'm telling you, my friend, we should not look back because if you look back, you won't get stuck back there. There ain't nothing you should be looking back to anyway. Those that have been saved, oh, you ain't, miss, you ain't missing nothing in the world because the only thing that's in the world right now is sin, AIDS, and death. Your condom is not security. Hey, glory to God. Hey, Amen. Abstinence is the best policy. I say abstinence is the best policy because you might be going 100 miles per hour. Hey, Amen. And the condom come off. You're not going to draw breaks. You're going to keep on doing it. And you find yourself down the road. You're going to get HIV or AIDS. What I'm saying to you, my friend, don't look back. Remember Lot's wife. In, in, in Luke, the 19th chapter, verse 27. Amen. Verse 28. He said, likewise also, as it was in the day of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroy them all even thus shall it be in the day when the son of man shall re be revealed in that day he he shall say he which shall be upon the upon the house top and the stuff in a household in a house let him not come down to take it away and he he that in is in the field let him likewise not return back and verse 32 
And it say, remember Lot's wife. Whosoever shall, shall seek to save his life shall lose it. Whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. I tell you that in there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken and the other be left. Two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken and the other be left. Two men shall be in the field and one shall be taken and the other be left. So I'm telling you that verse 32 is remember Lot's wife. Ma minority over majority. And there was a lot of majority of people that was in Sodom and Gomorrah, my friend. But guess what? Only three escape. His wife turned back, looked back. She might have left her cosmetic. She might have left her perversion. She might be was entangling with perversion. What well, I'm telling you, my friend, don't never get so much involved with the world that you wanna you don't wanna let go of the world. Because they nothing in the world but but sin and death and the devil. Amen. Glory to God. Sin, death, and the devil. But in in God, hey, glory to God. The Bible says the kingdom of God is, is, is not meat and drink, but righteousness and joy in the Holy Ghost. I'm having more joy in the Holy Ghost than I wanted when it was I, when I was in the world of sin. Yes, I tell you, my friend, I was addicted, but thank God, God healed me for my addiction. Oh, glory to God. Yes, my friend, I was addicted to sex. But God took that addiction away. And I can tell people, if you are addicted to sex, don't get married. Because your wife is, your husband not going to satisfy you. Because it's a crave. You got to have it. And if you if you go through the menstrual and you say, lay with me. And you say, no, your addiction going to tell you to go somewhere else. What I'm saying to you, remember Lot's wife. Amen. But Hebrew, the 10th chapter, verse 38, say, Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not to them that who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of their soul. Well, I'm telling you, my friend, if you draw back to perdition, you draw them back, you're going back to perdition. Those men that was in Numbers, the 14th chapter, after God have delivered them from slavery. Hey, glory to God. God delivered them from the taskmaster. Hey, Amen. Glory to God. And they want to go back to Egypt. Hey, glory to God. They want to go back into bondage. Do you want to go back into bondage? God have delivered you and present you to the marvelous light. And do you want to go back into the world of sin? Sexing is not pleasure. Clubbing is not pleasure because when you're club, you're dancing, you're going to drink him and have all the smoke around you and you're going to get a hangover and have y'all call out. I never, I never, it never... It amazes me. People get paid and they call out. Hey, glory. People go club and they drink and they get drunk. They get hangover. What's the pleasure of you vomiting all that you drink? Amen. Glory to God. But listen to what the children of Israel stated. Amen. And it's sad. It breaks my heart that how people don't remember Lot's wife. Lot's wife is like, like remembering Memorial Day, how you remember how things happen and you are have a memorial of what happened. Now, we take the, the Lord's Supper as a memorial, but remember Lot's wife, she is a memorial, my friend. And don't go back. Don't go back into a world of sin because sin will destroy you. 
Sin would, dis would destroy every essence of your body. The Bible said the little foxes that spoil the vine. The sin starts small, then get big. You can't control it. A little thought become a reality. Because the Bible say, if a man looked at the woman and lust after her, he have conceived in his heart and have committed adultery already. Get those little foxes out of your vine. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Glory to God. Numbers 14 chapter. And the Bible say, verse 1, And all the congregation lifted up their voice and cried. And the people wept that night. And all the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron. And the whole congregation and said unto them, Would God that we have died in the land of Egypt, or would God we had died in the wilderness? And where have the Lord brought us unto this land to fall by the sword, that our wives and our children should be a prey? Were it not better for us to return to, 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 to Egypt, to the world? And they said to another, let us make a captain and let's return into Egypt. I don't want to go back into sin, my friend. Because they nothing back there. They nothing left in Egypt. Egypt, you are building, amen, Pharaoh statue and, and Pharaoh estate. In Egypt, you was eating watermelon and lemon and, and onion and leeks and fish. Hey Amen. You was you was eating things that Pharaohs was giving you. But God in a promised land waiting for you. And I'll get on the other side and I will tell you about the 12 spies. On the two came back with a good report. That's my next series. But go back. Hey Amen. Glory to God. That how they trying to go back to Egypt. They say build a captain so we can go back to Egypt. And they won't they won't get boat. They're gonna build boat to go over Egypt. Look at the look at the picture. When they see the Red Sea, they say, let's go back. When it was thirsty, they say, let's go back. When it was hungry, they say, go, let's go back. My God, why are you going back when you're getting the hard times? Remember Lot's wife. Lot's wife represents perversion. Whether it be homosexuality, whether it be sexual promiscuity, whether it be, 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 be stealing and lust and killing, remember Lot's wife. And Lot's wife, I remember, it was full of homosexuality. It was full of lesbianism. And I, I don't care some of y'all commentary. Y'all saying that, oh, it was not so much uh, homosexuality. Yes, it was. Because sodomy and Gomorrah were destroyed because of perversion. Because the, the Bible say it, go, it went up to God and God sent those angels down and told the angel to get Lot's family out. And Lot's daughters were married. Amen. Glory to God. Yes, they were married. But apparently, their husband was cheating on them. Their husband was a part of the perversion. Hey, glory to God. Read your Bible and see that, hey, amen, they refused, even though they were virgins that never knew a man. Glory to God. And they didn't want the angels Amen. They were the angels, but they didn't, they didn't want Lot's daughter. So what is it telling you? In that land, there were homosexuals. In that land, there was lesbianism. In the land, there was marrying and giving a marriage and all those perversions that was happening in Sodom and Gomorrah. That's why Jesus Christ tell you that we got to look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. For the joy that was set before him. You got to have joy set before you. 
come in this Christian way, we can have joy set before us, despise the shame, and it's set right at the right hand of God. Well, I'm telling you, Peter took his eyes off of Jesus. And any time you take your eyes off of Jesus, you're going to sink. Amen. You're going to sink back into sin. Hey, glory to God. But if you keep your looking to Jesus, amen, you're going to keep on rising. You're going to keep on getting joy. You're going to keep on looking young like myself. Glory to God. Because the Bible says he beautified the meek with salvation. Amen. The reason why some of y'all are getting so old because you have variation in your life. Hey, glory to God. And you're not remembering Lot's wife. You're a partaker of the worldly sin. Sin will destroy you. Sin will put an end to your Christianity. Sin will put an end to your salvation. Amen. But remember Lot's wife. Amen. Amen. Forgetting those things which are behind, but pressing toward the mark of the high call of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. What would Paul say in my closing? Amen. Hey, glory to God. Hey, glory to God. Because the word of God is right. Whether we believe it or not, the word of God is truth. He said, brethren, that's Philippians, the third chapter. Amen. Verse 13 and 14. Hey, glory to God, that remember Lot's wife. That's all as a memorial so you won't fall back into sin. You got to forget those things. Forget that girl that's on your phone. Is she in part of you? Let her alone. Cut her loose. Go, uh, change your number. Hey, glory to God. Stop emailing her. Block her on your Facebook. Glory to God. Is she not part or is he not part of the movement of Christianity, movement of being saved? Cut them loose in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember Lot's wife because the devil is your enemy. The devil is not your friend. I know you have Facebook. I know you have all those friends on Facebook. But if they're not talking or walking the walk you walk, amen. The Bible says, how can two walk together except they're green? The world is our enemy. Amen. If you have friendship with the world, amen, you're, not, you're an enemy toward Christ. Amen. Glory to God. And the world pass away and the lust thereof. Amen. But as I'm closing, in the name of Jesus Christ, remember Lot's wife. Those pictures up here is an indication that Lot's wife is still as being a memorial in Pakistan. Hey, glory to Sodom and Gomorrah are still destroyed. They're still rubble. They're not even built upon that wicked city. It was destroyed because of perversion. Hey, glory to God. Hey, glory to God. Remember Lot's wife. Brethren, I count not myself have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things. Now, Lot's wife didn't forget. She will remember. The angels say, don't look back. Disobedient. It say, don't look back. Forgetting those things which are behind. Hey, glory to God. Forgetting those things which are behind. Forget about a club. Forget about drinking your, bon your, your Johnny Walker. You're snorting your, your marijuana. You're, you're snorting your cocaine. You're smoking your crack. Forget those things. Forget about clubbing. Forget about that boyfriend, that girlfriend back there. Forget about it. Hey, man. And reaching for those things which are, by, are before Reaching for heaven. Heaven is my destination. Not hell. Heaven. I press toward the mark of the high call of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Remember Lot's wife, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Oh God, touch that person right now that's still having the memory of Lot's wife, oh God. Let them forget those things which are behind them, oh God. Save that soul right now. Let them remember Lot's wife. In Jesus' name I pray, oh God. 
touch that person right now that's in a backsliding state, Lord. You say you married a backslider. Oh, God. Save that person, Ika. In the name of Abba, Father, right now, save that backslider, Lord. Let them come back home. They're clubbing too much. They drinking too much. They snort, snorting too much. They sexing too much. They commit adultery too much, oh God. They fornicating too much, oh God. Save that person. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Go to my website down at the bottom. That's RomeInternational.org. Until next time, God bless you. Richly is my prayer. Peace.